a unique school year with a unique start in every district. There is no one size fits all plan to this very difficult situation. Governor Murphy giving New Jersey 600 plus schools the green light to reopen on their own terms. Several districts will start remotely, including Elizabeth, Bayonne, Patterson and Jersey City, which then plans to rotate students in small groups between in person and remote instruction. We didn't want them to go back, honestly. Some teachers don't feel comfortable that it's safe enough to go into the schools. East Brunswick, meanwhile, is allowing students back in the building part time. We will be able to meet the health and safety standards outlined in the road back and return to our classrooms in the fall, all while keeping our students and staff safe. Districts that do opt for in-person instruction must receive state certification and follow specific guidelines mandating social distancing, face coverings, routine sanitization and ventilation. But the state's three main teachers unions disagree with the governor, saying remote learning should be the only option. Quote, reopening schools for in-person instruction under the current conditions poses too great a risk. The ultimate decision, though, lies with the parents and the guardians who can choose to have their child do full remote learning regardless of the district's plan. Live in Fort Lee, New Jersey, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.